यू नो पावर बी आई बट स्टिल यू हैव लॉट्स ऑफ क्वेश्चन इन योर माइंड हाउ डज इट हैपन वाई इट हैपन्स हाउ कैन आई डू दैट दिस इज द सीरीज फॉर यू सब्सक्राइब टू द चैनल एंड प्रेस द बेल आइकन टू गेट द नोटिफिकेशंस हेलो एंड वेलकम टू अनदर वीडियो ऑन एबस्ट्रक्ट थीसिस सीरीज एंड इन टूडेज वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस that how can you change the grand total on some total on something else or the you can change the aggregation of grand total sum total or maybe you are doing sum and you want an average at the sub total level or grand total level and it's average of sum not simple average so let's take up these things uh, so let's jump on the power bi and let's me tell you the use case what i have today so let me add a new page by pressing the plus button here and let me create a visual to create a visual let me drag brand on this one and i because i am on march i am on on object so i dragged a brand it gave in my brand i can press on this uh, icon here and i'll get another option to add few more things and i say add and now i can add a major and i go to base column and add net major and let me convert it into a table once i do that and the moment i do that you will be able to see now new column uh the net with the total uh so the field net or the major net has a grand total now sometime you say no 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 i don't need this grand total actually i need an average now average of what average of rows or average of the brands now to understand that difference let me create two majors and tell you the difference so that you can realize what exactly you are getting it so you said okay i fine and fine i want this net with new gt so first of all i go how do i get a gt now there there are options like you can think about has one filter has one value uh you can is also think about is filtered but my favorite in such cases is in scope uh and uh, you will realize that is in scope basically it's actually check whether the uh field we are talking is really available in the scope or not and grand total uh not none of these fields is going to be is in scope so we can take any of those fields and check it out or oh, is it in scope now that's true with the table visual in the matrix visual you can take one one which is on the top so let's say you take in brand category sub category and all those so brand on the top so you can simply say if it is is in scope in brand because brand would always be in scope okay so we say if it is in scope brand item brand then you give me net as simple as that otherwise you give me average now average of what now i don't i i so average let's see do i have as net sales because if i have a net sales in my cs table i can get it i should be able to get an average otherwise i need to create one okay so i do have a net column so net sales and i say average now the moment i do that and i bring it here you see this net is really small and the reason that this net is really small because it's coming from the line level because my line are very small they have very very small values and because of this this, this is not average of brands this is not average of sum so what is average of sum or level of details so now here what i want in the grand total the level of detail should be brand include level of details the brand should be included while taking that average so i need average of sum then how do i do that so we are going to do this same formula here and now while doing this one thing which we need to do here is basically uh I, I'm instead of doing average, I'm going to do average x. And please remember, I'm doing it at grand total level, so I don't need all or all selected. So now, so when I do average x, the first thing I need is what's the level? So level is I can use values or summarize. So I'm going to use values because I only have one field here. So I'm saying okay, values item brand. You do that. It means the grouping level is item brand. And in that item brand, I actually don't need this one. I need a major. If I don't use a major, major, I need to use calculate function. So I say net. So now this time I change my statement. I'm saying take the average x of item brand, item brand at the level of item brand, which is already summed up as, as a net till item brand, and post that you take an average when. the brand is not in scope so when brand is not in scope you have to include the brand and take the average and this is my new major so i'll call it gt1 and now you can see a different op 
numbers. Now let me duplicate this page because I want to bring in one more problem to you. I duplicate this page and I click on this. Now you know this is a brand average. Now I go here and I convert it into a matrix visual. I'll be very happy with seeing this and I say add one more row and I go back to item and I talk about category. And you say okay fine but the moment I expand it now here it is a total. You say no 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 no. At the brand level, I am fine the brand level, level grand total here. Okay, that's fine. You you average the brand levels here in the total. But here this should not be 82, this should be categories average. So when the brand so what is happening here? Now brand is not in scope. When brand is in scope and category not is in scope. So how do we do the such cases? So to handle that, let's go back again to this where we created this average X and now we are going to change this problem a little bit now. Now to do this, I, I always prefer to do calculation from bottom to up, bottom to up in my hierarchy. So my hierarchy here is category and brand. It could be more. So I prefer to do it in that manner. So let me write down the code for you and let me just for the copy paste sake, I'm doing this and so let me do this thing now. Now pay attention here. Now what we want here. So basically what we want here is a uh, switch. Now I have multiple, con my, I can use if but I want to use switch. So I say switch true. So what's my first available level? And shift enter or alt enter is going to give me that um, new lines. And so now true and then when I say is in scope, now I'm checking these in scope. So item category is the lowest one and it's going to be out of scope first of all. So that is why I che check the, if the category is in scope. So if it is in scope, I can take net. What happens when category is not in scope? So when the category is not in scope, the brand would be in scope. And when the brand is in scope, I want the very similar calculation what I have done here average x item brand but I want item category here okay so I want the similar calculation but for the item category now do I need to remove the category filter here that we have to check it out okay now the third one is basically when the grand total has come and when the grand total has come the brand is also not in scope so both the scope has already gone down so I can go to the simple else condition and put this one out and let's see does it work out. Now at the brand level I have both the categories available and I'm again doing the sum so my expectation is that I don't need to use remove filters or something it should work out without that but if it doesn't work out we will try out that. So it's saying GT1 is already there so let's create GT2. Now let's remove all these things. Let's add GT2 also. Let's look at how it's behaving. So let's go here. So if you look at this is coming 360, 187, 213, 680, 360 seems to be a number to be we can believe in. So now 200, 200, 300 and 400, 341 seems like a number we can believe in. Okay. Same way we have four numbers here and few numbers out here. Now this is one good number to have like this total is going to come out uh, 6, 3, and four something like that or six three four six three four uh, five so you can say three one seven is the number which is coming out which is exactly same and this is the brand average this is the category average and we are able to do that with the help of is in scope average x with the values or summarize to have the you know sum of averages or average of some basically what we have done here commonly known as sum of averages problem so you will when you search you search sum of average problem or this is average of some problem which is basically including a level which is not present so in the total it is not present at the brand level the category level is not present but we still make sure it's get included some tools like tableau do call it include level and that's why i use this term include level when we are doing this kind of calculation so go ahead and try this calculation out and do let me know what else you want me to consider in this particular series thanks for watching this video thank you
Keep watching, keep asking questions in comment, subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon so that you can get notification for new videos. Thank you.